Hello, and welcome back to the Canyon Man Raj YouTube channel. I'm Roger. Uh, I'm getting ready to take a uh, five day, four night hike into the San Pedro Parks Wilderness, and our destination is the Continental Divide Trail, also known as the CDT. Uh, we're going to probably be up there by our second day. Um, but what I would thought I would do is I get a lot of people that ask me what I'm going to carry, how much we carry. So I thought I would kind of show you what uh, what I'm going to carry and kind of break it down a little more in detail for you. Maybe answer some questions for you guys. And this is kind of the way I pack. The uh, older I get, the lighter I try to make my pack. So it becomes a little more of a challenge every year. But I do want you to know that the first thing I do several weeks out before I do any kind of big trip like this is I start making my list. And uh, when I think of something new that I need, I'll put it on my list. And then I'll use my list to get everything together at the end. And then I'll check it off as I put it in my backpack. That way I know I'm not forgetting anything. And if it doesn't make it on this list within two weeks, chances are I can, I'm going to you know, survive without it. So uh, hang with us and we'll look at some of this stuff in detail. Okay, so as I've mentioned before, the first thing I always start with is my list. And of course, I'm not going to be able to read at it. It's my writing, so we'll skip on past that. Um, always need a good pair of gloves, especially when you're going to be out in the wilderness. You don't want to tear your hands up. So we're going to start with that. Uh, I like to carry some camera gear with me. One of the things I like to carry with me is a battery pack. And I'll use two, uh, two of the different connectors, the micro USB and the mini USB. That way, whatever I need to charge, I can charge off of this. I'm going to take my uh, little uh, GoPro knockoff that I got. It works great underwater. I used it last year, and I'm going to carry the case to go along with it. Um, and what I'm not showing here with my camera gear is the camera that I'm holding, my uh, Canon, and also I'm going to be carrying a, uh, an external mic. And I'll take a picture of that and show you that later. But the cool thing is, when this battery pack runs down from being charged, I have a solar power charger. Now this is an eight volt um, or an eight watt, five and a half volt, I believe is what it is, uh, USB charger. And this thing works great, yeah, as long as you have the sun. This is a Sun Tactics, and it's uh, really a cool toy. It's kind of a luxury to have. It's a little bit heavy, but if you need a way to charge your, um, your batteries, this is definitely the way to go. So moving on here, I got a very basic first aid kit, like I said, I try to keep things as light as possible. There's band-aids and there's a couple of bigger compresses and a sling and some eye wash stuff. But besides that, that's pretty basic. Always got to carry the coffee cup. Got to have the coffee cup for breakfast. And uh, this is going to be my coffee. And I take regular coffee. I don't use uh, uh, freeze-dried anymore. And my coffee filters will be in this other bag I'll show you here in a second. And this bottle here that is marked poison. That is my alcohol for my alcohol stove. We're going to be going in an area that has uh, uh, phase one uh, fire restrictions, which means basically we won't be able to light a fire. So I'm going to cook. I'm going to cook on my little alcohol stove, and I'll show that to you here in a minute when we break that open. Um, got a container for drinking. I'll probably take some lemonade for maybe an adult beverage, but we'll use that. Um, also, I'm going to take a rain kit. A rain gear. This is a jacket and pants. Anytime you go backpacking with uh, Matt, the softest backpacker who, uh, who's going to hike with me here next week, you always got to have rain gear because when you're with him, it's going to hail rain. You know it well. Last year on this trip, it snowed on us, so you got to be prepared. He, he, he attracts that kind of weather, which is really cool. I love it anyway. So uh, moving on, I also have a, a new uh, sun jack. USB camp light and it's a 40 water and it's very light and I'm going to carry that I'll probably put that back in the box and carry it like that cool little thing can't wait to try it out um, always carry a little bit of aluminum foil you never know why you might need that um, this is my cooking kit and I will break that down here in a moment and show you what we got in there uh, always carry a couple of hats I'll carry a baseball cap and I'll use this one while I'm hiking uh, to cover the ears because at 11,000 feet the sun can become a little bit intense. I always carry a beanie for nighttime. It helps the uh, headlamp stay on a little bit better. So we'll carry both of those. Always carry a few extra scarves. They can always come in handy. You never know what you might uh, need one of those for. Um, I'm going to go very light on the clothes this trip. 
So this is it. I'm going to carry a um, pillowcase, and basically what I have is a couple of pair of socks, uh, a pair of underwear, and an extra t-shirt. And that'll be it for my extra clothes. Like I said, I'm really going to try to pack light. And then I have this bag, which has, um, it's all packed up with my necessities that I'm going to need. And I have everything that's in this bag on this list right here. And uh, I'll read them out to you. So I got a, a mosquito net for my head in case uh, the bugs are really bad. And I have, uh, let's see what else do we have in there. I have my headlamp. I have a survival blanket. Um, I have some toilet paper in there. I have a rain poncho. I have some bug spray. Uh, I have a little bit of nylon line or string, which could, could come in handy for something. I have some uh, roll of black electrical tape and about three feet of uh, bailing wire. So I've got everything fit in there. And plus, I have a trash bag in there as well. I think that's about everything I have in there. And that, those are uh, kind of necessities and things that you might need along the way. So, um, oh, and also here in the back, I have my uh, my sleeping pad, and it's uh, a little over a half an inch thick. This thing's pretty comfortable, and it's extremely light. It only weighs a few ounces. And then I have my uh, sleeping bag here. It's a Suzy Sport, and it's a, basically a three-season bag. Uh, it might even be a little bit warm this summer, but I can sleep on top of it. It's comfortable. I like the bag. It's light, and it compresses down to about half that size, so it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. Which I think is cool. And then over here on the table, I have a, uh, this is really what I call a luxury. And this is a, uh, a chair that you can put together. It's made out of airplane aluminum and real lightweight uh, fabric. It weighs about a pound and a half. And I'll put that together and show you what it looks like. But boy, it's nice to have a chair to sit in when you get off the trail. And that's what it compresses down to. And then uh, over here, I have a, what is called a two-man tent. I like to call it a one-man, one-dog tent. And uh, it's the perfect size you can set up in it. So I'm going to take that. Uh, I have another one-man tent to Bibby, but you can't set up in it. It's a little bit uncomfortable at times. So I'm going to take this one. Okay, so here in the next step, we'll break down uh, some of these. Uh, well, and I didn't show you my food bag. This is my bag here that my food is in. Uh, there's about 14 meals in this bag, and I'm going to say it weighs maybe three pounds. Now I have uh, some freeze-dried stuff in there and uh, some other uh, vegetables, or not vegetables, but fruit treats and all kinds of stuff. So uh, I'll break that open and we'll take a look at that as well. Stay with us. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I got with my uh, cooking kit here and how we do it. The netting is really nice, kind of holds everything together. We'll set that aside. I'm going to have this pan, which is a good dish to eat out of. And here I have my coffee maker, my coffee filter. And basically what this does is it sets, it clips onto your coffee pot. And you can throw a coffee filter in there. Boom, pour your hot water. And there you go, you get a fresh cup of hot coffee. And I've used this, it works great. It's a very, very light item to carry and well worth carrying. So we'll set that aside. And this is my bigger pot. And inside, you can see I got my cooking utensils in here. So we'll take this out, we'll kind of dump it like that. Set this aside. And this is gonna be my alcohol stove for the weekend. Now this is the top end of it. We'll pull that aside. We'll take this apart. And in here, I have my Trangia alcohol stove. Very cool stove. I've used it a few times. Works great. I love it. So the way this thing works is it's going to set inside here and this will set like this and you'll be able to light the Trangia with it like that and then these will fold out and that will sit on it like that and you light your stove and boom. There you go. And then you're cooking. Technically, you're not supposed to have any kind of fire in an unimproved area. We'll be in the wilderness. 
but this flame will be contained inside the stainless steel uh, container so there's really no threat of fire at all so it'll all be good so that's the way it works we'll pack it all back up like that we'll set that aside this the Trangia will go inside a bag to keep it from doing so much bouncing around and then we'll set this one back in here like that the Trangia will set in there and this will fit in there nice and tight like that see and then we can put this on that and then our coffee filter there and back on top and that is our mess kit and basically I'm just going to be heating up water anyway for our freeze-dried meals and so this should work out this should work out great so we've showed you that we'll set that aside and then we'll bring what we're going to eat here for our meals and we'll tip it aside like that so you can see how it's packed now I figure I'm going to probably lose about five pounds on this hike I'm not taking a ton of food but uh, I like to take some crackers uh, to go with see I have some oatmeal here these are food snacks that really come in handy on the trail and I have a few of those in here as well these are fruit snacks so I'll just pull this stuff out and repack it later they have a little bit of weight to them but they're they're great and they're tasty and they go good I'm going to carry a couple of lightweight uh, cereal bars which are also good if you're a little bit hungry on the trail so we'll take those as a cinnamon toast crunch and some rice crispy crunches and uh, we have some more oatmeal here we have lots of oatmeal for breakfast and I'm taking one, two, three, four, five, six packs of oatmeal for four mornings. You never know, I might feel like getting a little bit, having an extra, an extra helping. So that's our oatmeal. And then one night I plan on cooking some rice. This is a half a cup of rice. And I plan on eating rice with, let's see, it's here somewhere. Um, let's see, here we go, I want to have rice with star kissed tuna creations and it's going to be the Thai chili style and uh, so we're going to do that in this, that'll be one night's meal and then all the spams that I have here will be uh, for lunches and I'll have a spam and some crackers and that'll be pretty much lunch and maybe a fruit snack so I have a few of those and I uh, like those I don't really ever get tired of those so I got five of them for five lunches that'll be good and those will go with the crackers and then for my other dinners one night will be the Louisiana red beans and rice gonna have that and that is uh, that's a backpackers pantry product by the way and I made uh, get a little bit closer and maybe do a view, review on some of the backpacker pantry stuff that I'm having because I'm also having um, another backpacker pantry and this one is potatoes with gravy and beef so um, we'll try that I have not tried it uh, but I've heard it's good so we're gonna have both of those and then our last uh, meal will be the uh, chili mac with beef and this is a mountain house product now all three of these dinners are double servings so I know after hiking a long day a single serving is not gonna not gonna do much for me so these are all double servings which is really good it'll be a good hearty hearty meal this one makes two 13 ounce servings and uh, the potatoes with beef and gravy make two 12 ounce servings and then this one the chili mac in beef uh, it says two servings but it doesn't say right off that right off the bat what it, how much it is per serving but anyway that's it so we're gonna we'll put all this stuff back together but that's that's gonna be my meals for uh, five days and four nights uh, it doesn't look like a whole lot it's really not I plan on probably losing a few pounds so um, yeah we'll see how it goes Okay, so we've pretty much covered everything I'm going to put in this backpack and carry along with me. All the food, all the 
pans and pots and all the gear and everything I'm going to take. A couple things I have not showed you is I have not showed you the backpack that I'm going to carry all the stuff in. And this is the backpack right here. Uh, I think it's a 74, 78 liter capacity. I have a pillow in it right now to kind of fluff it out so you can see how big it is. It's got uh, three external pockets. It also has a pocket on this top cap up here, which is kind of cool. And then uh, on the bottom side here, you have a zipper uh, compartment for your uh, sleeping bag so it doesn't get wet. So that's part of the 74 liter part. You can see that. This is it right here. So this is the bag. Uh, it holds a lot of stuff. I don't anticipate on filling it up to the top. It'd be just way too much. But I wanted to show you that. And that's what we're using there. And last but not least, one last thing, and I told you I would show it, is my luxurious camping chair. Now this is it. It's made out of really strong airplane aluminum. The uh, plastic fittings are really tough. I've carried this uh, uh, chair for quite a few miles and have used it set up on uneven ground, uneven surfaces. It's held up together. I tell you what, when you're in the mountains after walking all day long and you sit in this, it feels like sitting in grandpa's recliner chair. It is just really cool. And back to, it's only probably about a little over a, a pound and a half. So it's very light and well worth carrying the extra weight and the bulkiness of it. And it's really not that bulky. It, it all fits in this little pack. So it's all good. So uh, yeah, that's it. Um, we're going to take this hike next week and then uh, stay tuned for a new episode of Camp Chat, which will feature uh, the Southwest Backpacker and myself at the 11,000 foot level on the Continental Divide Trail. Looking forward to it. That we'll be doing that uh, probably a day or two before the 4th of July. We'll be hiking out on Tuesday the 4th of July and then after that we'll get together and try to get this, uh, this video out online for you guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. If you like this video, hit the like button. Thank you. Thank you for watching the Candyman Raj YouTube channel.